Hello, this is Kelly Vale with PCTV News. On September 21st, the Providence College faculty received an email from Provost Hugh Lena stating that the lecture, The Meaning of Gay Marriage by Dr. John Corvino of Wayne State University had been canceled. In his statement, Provost Lena cited the U.S. Council of Bishops in saying that the Catholic community and Catholic institutions should not honor those who act in defiance of our moral principles. Provost Lena also cited one of the college's policies which required that this lecture be canceled unless both sides of the argument could be shown. PCTV is awaiting clarification on this policy. Dr. Dana Dillon of the PC Theology Department stepped up to speak at this lecture. However, Provost Lena asserts that it is simply not fair to give her less than one week of preparation opposite someone who has been lecturing on this issue across the United States for years. Dr. Dillon had only volunteered to speak with Dr. Corvino shortly before the cancellation had been made. Dr. Corvino issued a statement on his personal website stating that he was looking forward to the event and that the cancellation had been misplaced. Nine Providence College academic departments were in sponsorship of this event, including Black Studies, the Feinstein Institute, Global Studies, Philosophy, Pre-Law, Public and Community Service, Sociology, Women's Studies, and the Development of Western Civilization program. In a press release, the college stated that the nature of marriage is a matter of which the faculty have academic freedom, but also that the incident in question is not really about academic freedom, but rather goes against the meaning of being a Catholic college. The president of the college is expected to communicate to members of the Providence College community about this issue and the reason behind the cancellation of Dr. Corvino's lecture. Fighting for Academic Freedom, an event put on by public and community service students, will be held later this week to open up a forum for discussion about this issue. Additionally, there has been coverage by both student-run and nationally recognized news sources, including the New York Times, about the events that have transpired. As of this news report, the student body awaits a clear answer from the administration about this matter, as all eyes are on Providence College. I'm Kelly Vale for PCTV News. Thank you for watching.